Lecture number 10, development of recipes for new dairy products. Plan of the lecture, dairy products and type of dairy products, nutrient composition of dairy products and features of making new products from milk and fermented milk products, requirements for new types of dairy products. Dairy products or milk products are type of uh, food produced from uh, uh, or containing the milk of mammals, most commonly cattle, water, buffaloes, goats, sheep, and camels. Dairy products include food items such as yogurt, cheese, and butter. A facility that produces dairy products is known as a dairy or dairy factory. Types of dairy products. Milk. Milk is produced after op optional gamogenization or pasteurization in several grades after standardization of fat level and possible addition of the bacteria Streptococcus lactis and the Leucanonostic uh, Titravorum. Milk can be broken down in several different categories based on type of production produced, including cream, butter, cheese, infant formula, and yogurt. Milk varies in fat content. Skim milk is milk with zero fat, while whole milk products contain fat. Scaled milk, we have condensed milk, milk which has been concentrated by evaporation with sugar added for reduced process time and longer life is in an open can. Evaporated milk, less concentrated than condensed milk without added sugar. Baked milk is milk simmered on low heat for long time, which results in mild caramelization, particularly popular in Eastern Europe. Dulce de leche, malai, powdered milk, reproduced by removing the water from milk. Hoa, milk which has been completely concentrated by evaporation used in Indian cuisine. Infant formula dried milk powder with specific additives for feeding human infants. High milk fat and the nutritional products for infant formulas. We, uh, the liquid drained from curds and used for further processing or as livestock feed. Buttermilk, the liquid left over after producing butter from cream, often dried as livestock feed milk skin. Milk is an ingredient in many confectionaries. Milk can be added to chocolate to produce milk chocolate. What about fermented milk? Fermented milk. Sorted milk obtained by fermentation with meta mesophilic bacteria, mainly lactococcus lactis and other bacterial cultures and yeasts. Cultured buttermilk resembling buttermilk but uses different yeast and bacterial cultures. Clubber milk naturally fermented to yogurt-like state. Film yolk, yam, vili, kefir fermented milk from the northern Caucasus. Who miss fermented mare milk popular in Central Asia, uh, in Kazakhstan, a Macy and Morsik. Yogurt. Yogurt milk fermented by thermophilic bacteria, mainly Streptococcus salivarius, thermophiles and the Lactobacillus delbriuski. Bulgarius, sometimes with additional bacteria such as Lactobacillus acidophilus. Acidophilin, Madun, Sky, Strained Yogurt, Katak, Ryazhanka, Baranets, Iran, Dove, Lashi, Indian, Continent, and Leban we have. Cream, cream and fermented cream, single cream, doubled cream, and whipped cream. Clotted cream, thick spoonal cream made by heating milk uh, high mark. We have in Kazakhstan sour milk, sour cream, smetana, Central and Eastern European variety of sour milk, 
cream. Cream, fresh, slightly fermented cream. And we have also butter. Butter, mostly milky fat, produced by churning cream. Uh, G also called clarified butter by gentle heating of butter and the removal of the solid matter. Smen, a fermented uh, clarified butter used in Moroccan cooking. And the uh, anhydrous meal fat classified butter. Cheese, we have cheese produced uh, by coagulating milk, separating from we and letting it ripen generally with bacteria and sometimes also with certain molds. The type of cheese, rennet coagulated cheeses, cheddar, grana cheeses, uh, gruyere, blue cheese, brine cheese, washed brine cheese, acid uh, or sour milk cheeses and so on. Casein, we also have from, from milk, uh, caseinate, sodium or calcium salt of casein, milk protein concentrates and isolates, whey protein concentrates and isolates, uh, hydrolysates, milk treated with uh, proteolytic enzymes to alter functionality, mineral concentrate, concentrates, custards thickened with egg, imitation custards, and of course we have, uh, we produce from milk ice creams, ice cream, slowly frozen cream, milk flavor and emulsifying additives, dairy ice cream, gelato, slowly frozen milk and wheat, uh, less fat than ice cream, ice milk, low fat version of ice cream, frozen custard, frozen yogurt, yogurt with emulsifiers. Milk is nutrition nutritious liquids that can be uh, harvested from many animals by the most commonly consumed milk is from cows. Therefore, unless otherwise noted, the dairy products in this calorie chart are made with cow milk. Dairy contains a good balance of fat, carbohydrates, and protein, and it is also a valuable source of calcium, riboflavin, and vitamin B12. Whole milk has equal amounts of fat and protein. Protein, but other milk varieties like skim have some or, or all of fat removed, reducing calories as well. On the other hand, dairy products like heavy cream and the buttermilk have higher amounts of fat. The main component of milk is lactose, a natural sugar that many people's digestive systems uh, are sensitive to. Vegan plant-based milks, including almond uh, milk and uh, coconut milk, are good substitutes. Also, they have different nutritional value from animal milk. Check the nutrition label on the cart or can be specific information regarding fats, protein, and the carbohydrates in dairy alternatives. Nutrients composition of dairy products. Here you can see in this table one. Uh, how much energy has the fresh wool milk? 61 kilocalorie, 88 water percent of water, 2.3 about protein, fat is about 3.3, carbohydrates is about 5 percent gram per 100 gram, cholesterol about 14, vitamin A we have one uh, 126, riboflavin uh, 0 uh, point about 2 uh, milligram and calcium about 119 milligram per 100 gram. And uh, in the left side, you can uh, see all the types of the milk production products. Steps of milk production and dairy processing. Raw receiving, of course, at first, 
processors received raw milk in in insulated raw tankers. Once in the dairy products arrives at the dairy, the quality teams runs tests to ensure it meets appropriate standards. Common tests include smell, temperature, and the various lab tests. Second one, raw storage. Large ver vertical silo tanks store, uh, store untreated raw milk. At this stage, operators must carefully monitor two uh, key variables, the temperature inside the silo and the time held in the tank, an optimized combination of the human and size of tanks will help processors maintain production rates and the minimized waste. Batching operations. Batching is a rapid process combining liquid and dry ingredients in the proper ratios to meet recipe and batch size demands. It is used in many products such as ice cream, chocolate, milk, yogurt, and eggnog. Batching operation typically fall into sequential load cell system or simultaneous meta-based system. And of course, pasteurization. Pasteurization is the process of using heat to destroy pathogens to uh, improve food safety. Importantly, pasteurization forms the regulated boundary between the raw and pasteurized sides of the process. The most common methods of dairy pasteurization in the United States is high temperature short time, which is a continuous process that processes milk efficiently. Separation and the clarification. Separating skim milk from cream is a fundamental process in the dairy life cycle. The separation process used uh, centrifugal forces to separate the cream from the skim so they, that they can be used in other products. Clarifiers throw particles such as sediment, somatic cells, and some bacteria to the outside for disposal. Standardization. Standardization is the process of adjusting the fat content of milk to a specified value. It is an important mechanism to deliver a uniform product to consumers and helps to ensure economics in production. Standardization typically occurs via one of these two methods, continuous standardization, blend scream and scheme via monitoring the ingredient and product characteristics and adjusting the flows as required to meet the process requirements. And second one is the batch standardization. After separation, combine calculated volumes of cream and skim into batch tanks under continuous agitation. Operators confirm products characteristic via lab testing and adjust as required. This method is an uncommon in modern dairies unless the product requires additional ingredients. Homogenization. Homogenization breaks down fat globules to prevent the formation of a cream layer. A gomogenizer forces hot milk at high pressure through a narrow split, breaking up the fat globules so they cannot recombine later. Culture and the fermentation operations. Producers of cultured milk products such as yogurt and cheese rely on bacteria cultures, also known as starters, to control the acidity, consistency, flavor, and aroma of the product. Nowadays, many dairies buy ready mixed cultures directly from laboratories offering special cultures from specific products. These commercial cultures are available in deep frozen freeze-dried and liquid forms. Manufacturing a starter is one of the most important steps in the dairy process and the safety and hygiene of this process are extremely important. The process can be broken, into, uh, bro broken down into the following steps. 
culture prep and storage. The first step in manufacturing a starter is processing the medium. The medium is heated and held at temperature, then cooled to the required in a coolation temperature. The target temperature differs according to the product. Once the medium reaches the correct temperature, in inoculation can begin. Culture inoculation. During inoculation, a quantity of specific bacteria is transferred to the medium, either manually or automatically. Fermentation processes. After completing the inoculation process, the product moves into fermentation. When bacteria reach the target temperature, they begin to reproduce very rapidly and ferment into the final product. After achieving the diet flavor and aroma, the cultured milk must be cooled quickly to stop the fermentation process. Most fermentation process will also begin agitating the cultured product at this processing step. Pasteurized storage. While pasteurization kills disease causing bacteria and extends shelf life, even pasteurized milk can quickly spoil and cause foodborne illness if not handled properly. Refrigeration, refrigeration is a critical factor in ensuring the safety of milk. The warmer the milk, the more rapidly bacteria grow and multiply. Common storage temperature are um, 300. Uh, 36 Fahrenheit to uh, 38 Fahrenheit. It is uh, in Celsius 2 to 3 Celsius. Filling and packaging. Filling once in the processing line, milk can be transferred into many different types of package, uh, packages, including carton, glass, porches, bottles, and others. And uh, the last one is the packaging. Uh, packaging systems organize product containers into easily stored and transport cartons, boxes, and uh, palettes. Features of making new products from milk and fermented milk products are requirements for new types of dairy products. Requirements for important of dairy products. Dairy products. The animals must be clinically healthy at the time the milk was obtained. The products must be processed in a food and mouse disease-free country zone. The milk or the milk for, from which the dairy product was made must be subject Subjected to one of the following heat treatments. Pasteurization 72 Celsius uh, for a minimum of 50 seconds or an equivalent treatment in terms of phosphatase destruction or a UHT treatment of 135 Celsius Celsius for minimum of one second. The packaging or immediate containers must be stamped with the date of manufacture of the product. Cheese and butter, the animals must be clinically healthy at the time the milk was obtained. And so as the milk requirements, Cheese or butter not heat treated in accordance with requirements will not be released from quarantine until the conclusion of a period of 30 days from date of manufacture. Here you will find the references. Thank you for your attention.